All right, guys, we're back. We are putting the cam in right now. I'm getting ready to put the push rods in, but I'll show you guys real quick what we did. I figured we weren't going to film putting the cam in. It's been done a million times. Um, it's pretty easy. You just put a bunch of the uh, engine, engine assembly lube on it, uh, rub it up real good, and then just kind of slide in. Be careful not to nick your bearings on the way in. Um, to get it timed, you want to bring it here. We just line up this little notch on the cam gear right here, that little U-shaped deal with the little, there's a dip, like a punched hole right there on top of that gear. As long as those are facing each other, you'll be in time. Put a new timing chain on it, nice and tight. And right now we are, I got new uh, lifter guides, uh, lifter trays, whatever you want to call them. So I've done this side already. This is what they're going to look like when they're done. This one, again, it's pretty easy. But uh, I'll show you guys doing this other side here just in case. So here we go. The, the lifters have been soaking in oil here for about, I don't know, three or four hours. Um, they're the LS7 style that I got. So, and if you want to come over here real quick, James. Again, this is pretty easy. You'll see the flat sides right here. And they'll match up with the flat part on the, on the trays. And you just pop them in like that. And if you're worried about making a mess, make sure you got something under you or cardboard or metal or something so you don't get this all over your floor. Pop these in. Just making a mess. And then straighten them up. The little groove side here goes down. We'll drop them in just like so. work it in there we go it's just seated put the bolt in and we'll tor torque this to 18 foot pounds right no it's 89 to 106 inch pounds oh sorry inch pounds we'll torque that here a little bit later um we'll go ahead and put the other ones in real quick torque those in a little bit but other than that like I said you're all caught up the short blocks almost put together and after this we'll throw the heads on there start getting the timing covers and all that back in there and hopefully get this thing ready to drop in and start mocking up mocking up so we'll get back with you in a second all right guys we are back Just doing the getting the heads put on the motor we already did this side and uh I still have this other side the passenger side left so I'll throw that on there kind of show you guys how I'm doing it um and we'll take it from there so I got the new, it's just a regular GM head gasket on there. And then I just cleaned the bottom, you know, might be scuffed the bottom of the head. Cleaned all the dirt and oil off of it. And uh, let's say we're going to throw it on. There. So I got some new ARP bolts. Instructions say to put assembly lube on them and then uh, run them in there. The torque sequence came with the kit. So basically we're going to start. I mean, it lays it out pretty simple. We're starting the middle and work our way out more or less. And then these little three ones up top get done last at 25 foot pounds. So we're going to do it in three increments, 25, 50, and 80 for these big ones here. And then these little one across the top does go one time at 25 foot pounds. And those will be at the end. So we're going to get started. I'm going to lift this thing and see if I can drop this down here or put it on here without dropping it. And we'll go for it. You see these two dowel pins I'm trying to line up here on the edge once those pop in. Be good ish. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna hold that for me. So I'm gonna have him hold it just in case here, but I'm gonna do one last little clean on these on the flat parts where the bolts go. I'm just make sure there's no dirt or debris on there. All right, good enough for me. So. Take one of these, put some lube on there. This is the, uh, I'm just using this Permatex assembly lube. This is what we've been using for the whole build. We have the cylinder sprayed with WD-40. Just to hopefully make it easier on startup. Drop one of these guys in there. And these I believe are 13 millimeters, so. Run them in there like that. 
that one shouldn't go anywhere so what I'm gonna do now is just run the rest of them in just kind of get them started I'll probably use the impact to tighten them or to get them seated at least and then I'll torque them down <laughs> How we're gonna do this, I'll set it up as high as it'll go and we're just gonna let it rip until it won't turn anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get them mostly down with this so we don't, so it doesn't take us forever. All right, now we'll get the torque wrench and we're gonna do our first round at 25 foot pounds. So we got this old school one torqued down. I'm gonna use a different torque wrench than I did last time. Um, the other one's nice, but it takes a while to reset between Torque readings and it just has to take an extra time. So we want to try this and see how that goes. So this is just a no frills, just an easy click one, click style. There it is. So like I said, we're gonna do these 10 first, then these last five go last at 25. So next one is 50. So we will set this thing to 50 foot pounds. All right, so then we should do it again, the exact same sequence. And here's 10. Now we go to 80. All right, third and final pass, exact same order again. Starting with number one here. Ten. So that should be them, and now we will do these last five. 25. Hopefully be done. We'll run these down real quick as well. And these also have a sequence. This one will be number 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Pretty easy. These won't take long. There it is. This head should be on. So now, probably going to leave it there for the end of the day. I worked on the truck a little bit, getting some of the, getting the motor ready to come out. And uh, a huge mess. But anyway, <laughs> we'll be back at it tomorrow and we'll pick up where we left off. So stay tuned. So, what we're doing right now is um, torquing down the valve car, or the, the rocker arms. Um, going through the little manual there, the LS building manual, it says soak them in oil before you put them on. So, that's what, they're, that's what we're doing there, right there. It's soaking in that royal purple right there. And uh, we're just going to pull out two at a time as we, you know, as we torque them down. So, what the book calls for is assembly lube on your the top of your uh, valves, and then I poured some oil down, you know, down along the push rods to get into the to the lifters. So what's going to happen is uh, it says you know hold the, the the push rods down like this while a partner turns the crank clockwise. When you feel the exhaust valve, which is this one because it's pointed to the exhaust port, when you feel this just start to move up, that's when you drop on the intake uh, rocker arm, torque it down to 22 degrees. Once you do that, then you're going to rotate the engine some more uh, clockwise again. The intake is going to fully open and then it says almost fully closed. Once you get to the almost fully closed portion, then you'll drop your uh, exhaust uh, rocker arm on there and then torque that to 22 degrees. So we'll go through that process. Foot pounds. Now. Foot pounds, I'm sorry. Um, we'll go through that process now and then we'll probably just time lapse doing the rest. So we've already got the other side done. So I've done it you know, a few times now. So it's getting a little easier. As you can see, those are all ready to go. We'll drop the valve covers on here in a little bit. I still have to paint those, but um, that's about it. We're just moving forward. So we'll get that going and then we'll get back with you guys when we, when we get it finished. Stay tight.
So as you can see, we got uh, got most of it done. We got the balancer on. Got my dirty dingo uh, swap mounts on there. They're adjustable, so they're kind of loose right now. So we can kind of drop it in and then put those where we need to. But uh, back to the oil pan. We're going to use this ultra gray here. This is, hang on, it's not focusing. Let it focus there. There it goes. It's sensor safe because these sensors in here, I don't know, better be safe than sorry. But basically I'm just gonna put um, some of each of these corners where it mounts to where it mates to the block. Right there, a little dab, and then we'll throw the gasket on top of that. And then uh, torque them all to 18 foot pounds is what it calls for. And then of course in a you know alternating pattern, you don't just go torque them all around, but crisscross back and forth like that. The main thing we wanted to get at is that the RTV Chris has got in his hand because I guess there's just the regular RTV is not quote unquote sensor safe and I guess from what I've read and been told the fumes can jack up the sensors and I don't really know too much about it honestly but we figured better be safe than sorry and just use the sensor safe specific stuff. Yeah exactly that way there's no question. And that was more the point of this video is just to get that across and then that you actually have to put some back here. Where these, where these where the covers meet the block basically those little gaps that's what the little manual calls for put in those gaps where the block meets the covers. Yeah, because it has like a full gasket. I don't know if it's over here. Yeah, it's got a full gasket, so you wouldn't really think, I mean, I wouldn't anyway, think that you'd have to use any RTV. That's why we wanted to show you guys. Yes, sir. So that's going on, and uh, we'll get back with you. Snap the head off. Mm -hmm. Snap the head off that screw. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's not in there too deep. Alrighty then. All right, guys. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that last little piece of that last video. What happened is this bolt here we snapped off down about here. Luckily, some thread was sticking out, and we could just, you know, back it out by hand, and it was fine. But what we figured out was these two bolts right here, the long ones on the back of the uh, oil pan, this one's still loose. Um, these two only get 106 inch pounds where these get 18 foot pounds. I believe that's where we made our mistake. So don't do that <laughs> and, and you won't break off a bolt in your block. But we just ran to the junkyard, got another bolt and torqued them down right. So. Everything's going together as it should. That's about it. Hopefully after this, we should be about ready to drop it back in. We got the trans washed off, so we actually need to find some torque for the bolts before we do that, but that's about it. We're pretty much out of time. Well, I'm out of time for today, so we'll pick it up. Probably will we'll get back with you. Hopefully we can get this thing dropped in. We've been trying to get this thing dropped in for the past like four days. But it's just every little thing is taking taking so much time. So we'll, we'll keep plugging away and keep you guys in the loop. So stand by.